Hey, man, what's the deal, man? It's the Interview Podcast, man, the number one podcast in the world, bro. And we with the most energetic entertainer in the world. That's a collab. Whoa. That's a real collab. You feel me? How you doing, brother? Hey, I'm doing green. I'm doing good. I'm blessed. If y'all watching this now, it's 2024. So you're blessed. You made it to 2024. Nice. Thank God for another year. Just clap it up for this year, though. It was a it was a hell of a year. My years just keep getting better and better, bro. I think I'm God. telling you. I just thank the Lord. Yeah. Just some little background on Manny, like in 2023. Some stuff y'all have definitely seen is Rolling Loud 2023. Hosting that, that was yeah. That was insane. I know. Shout my nigga Nas. I just talked to him too. <clears throat> this year. I got to wait till it's done, but it's going to be even crazier. What, 2024? Hell yeah. <sighs> I know. That was actually the biggest thing on my hosting bucket list was hosting Rolling Loud. So that shit was lit, though. Rolling Loud whole atmosphere is just different. Like, yeah. I went in 2022 in Miami. Shout out White Rose Moxie. He was an um, artist who, you know, granted me access, media passes, and just – being backstage there, like That's Spotify, hard. Speedy Norman back there, an inspiration Shout to me. Out Speedy. You met Speedy? I met Speedy, bro. That's fire. It's on my Instagram, but I feel like I met him. And I feel like I'm going to meet him again, and it's going to be yeah. more I'm going to have to offer him. Like, I was still, like, coming up. That was, like, when I was 20, so yeah. I was still coming up a little bit. But just being on stage, seeing the crowd react, just the vibes, it was amazing. Yeah, yeah. But, yeah, let's – uh. You know, get right into it. Like, why we here? This is just to show y'all how his impact on Atlanta is, and his um impact on people in general. Like, I think, I think you said when you come in a room, like if you could control that energy, like and you could figure out what how to brighten up the room. Like, yeah. we're gonna do that every time. Every you time. feel me? That's my goal. That'd be my only mission for real. When I do different things, you know, outside of hosting too, whether it's radio, like. I was just talking to my mom the other day. I do this thing on my Sunday shows on the radio called, like, the Manny Motivation, right? Mm -hmm. And during my overnight show during the week. But I don't even remember what I said, but I, like, I tell the listeners, if it touched you, shoot me a DM so I know. I got, like, 30 DMs about that one time. I was like, Pfft. And I told my mom, I got to start praying more on it so, you know, yeah. my impact can really be influenced by God for real, you know? Definitely. Yeah, Definitely. That's always the goal. Definitely. So, let's... We gonna create a story for them, you know. Yeah. They might see what it is now, but it wasn't always that. <laughs> Facts, you know. They see always been Manny though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You always been Manny. <laughs> where did yeah. the Supreme come in? How did that come though? Like, where, man, how did I was that name come? To the bros about it. Shout out Big Wadi, you know what I'm saying? Um, I got that name because I I played a game hella still, and mm. when I like first got my PS4, I was trying to figure out a gamer tag. This was like high school, little school. Mm. Got that, and I was like. Any Supreme, because I was infatuated with Supreme at the time. So you was always wearing Supreme before Air. Not even. I was one of them niggas like, okay, my dad buy me some J's or some booty J's. I'm a trade. <laughs> I'm a trade them to get something. Then I'm a trade for something else. So I was always staying fresh because I was just finessing. I still be finessing drip, even though I'll pay for it. But it's like. I might as well finesse. Because right. I like pieces for real. Yeah. So I always been on that. And I just would see different Supreme shit. Like, I think Rocky was the first person I seen in Supreme. I was like, that shit hard as fuck. And then when niggas like Yachty and them started wearing it and shit, it started, you know, getting closer. Because mm -hmm. I think Supreme was really a New York thing for real. It was. And then I started seeing niggas in the A-Rock. I was like, that shit hard. I start seeing the stuff. the Supreme book bags, like them red book bags. That's when I'm like, hold on. Oh, hell yeah. You feel me? And That's then the headbands. Remember, niggas had the headbands. But the then, headbands I remember when. I had a black one. I do remember when. I think it was about 2016, 17. It was a lot of fake Supreme going around. Hella a lot of fake Supreme. It was a lot of hang shirts with the Supreme <laughs> logo on it. The <laughs> box logo on the side. Supreme do rag, Supreme it's typed underwear. In, like. it ty it's typed in Times New Roman. It's not even <laughs> Top of New Roman, that's silly. It's crazy. So talk about growing up in Atlanta, like, how was it, though, like, you know, staying out the way or just, you know, the atmosphere, the culture here? Because yeah. I'm not from here, so I don't know how it was. From? I'm actually from the Big D, 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 man. That's Detroit, hard. That's hard. Me, so. that's hard. That's hard. That's yeah. hard. Man, my mama wouldn't let me go for shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, my 
I was doing extracurricular activities. I was mm. in karate. I was in soccer. Karate. I was wow. in flag football. She never let me play real football because I was a, I was a little guy. But yeah, I was always doing extracurricular. I was in band my whole life. You feel me? So what'd you play? Uh, percussion. Okay. Okay. So anything from the snare to the triangle to the xylophone. You know what I'm saying? So I was always like pretty active and stuff like mm-hmm. that, which kept me out of trouble. And then like once I got into high school, but it was just always asked because. I'll build up a friend group and then lead a school. Then build up another, then lead a school. But I like, I use them or those same characteristics or shit I had to do then now because like shit always changing. You know what I'm saying? Nothing's right. forever. So um, it was always easy for me to gravitate to people though. You know what I'm saying? All these niggas with weirdos. We laughing, we kicking, we getting in trouble together. You know what I'm saying? That's what it was. But um, yeah, I grew up on the South Side. Of Atlanta for real, like College Park. That's okay. where I, I like. I hooped that bird at and shit like that. But it was yeah. an Uber. Was I? I, was like, he, well, I was ass. Uh, I was, saying, I was, was ass nice? as a little nigga. Nice? I remember I scored. I like for that whole season. I had like <laughs> two points, nigga. No, I had three. No, I had three points. I shot a three. It was last minute. We was already getting blown out by like thirty some, mm. and it was like twenty five seconds left. And I remember I'm like, oh fuck it. I'm like thinking of Steph Curry for it. It's like when Steph first got in the league type shit. Like. I just threw that bitch up. That bit rattled in. I'm like, ah, nigga. Posted on his snap. Drop 10 nigga, points. That was before six, Snapchat. Six. That's when, you know, we was on kick. Oh, that was kick, them yeah. days. So that was, kick was like when I was like in fifth grade. That's when yeah, I, I was young as hell. I was like in seventh. Bad as hell. Kick and all them group chats. Changing the colors. Changing the name. Changing the profile picture. Oh, my God. If you went through a breakup, you had to change your profile nice. picture to nah, black for screen. real. You I remember we to. lost the flag football championship <laughs> to Kip South Fulton. I post, like, middle fingers on my stuff. I was like, fuck y'all niggas, man. But, yeah, I grew up on the south side, but now I went to high school in Douglasville. So, that's okay, why everybody cool. be thinking I'm from Douglasville. I'm not from Douglasville. Man. But Douglasville my mama started far. teaching out there, so that's why I went to school out there. Okay, cool, cool. My Dukes, she used to be a teacher. My pop's still a teacher. Shout out Pops, Detroit All Public right. Schools. Holding it down. What grade he teach? He teach pretty much the worst. Um, sixth to eighth, where kids is bad. They think they grown. Tatiana, all that. Demon time. Yeah, they on demon time. And it's really Detroit. It's not like, ah, uh, he teach. Nah, he teaching the cut. <laughs> shout out Pops, man. Yeah, shout out Pops, man. Um... But yeah, let's get into let's go into now we're going to Georgia State. Hell yeah. Fresh out of high school? Fresh out of high school. I wasn't even supposed to go there. He did yeah. say that. I he was supposed to be a Morehouse there. man. I was supposed to be a well before even Morehouse, because I only bro, the only reason I didn't go was cause they never e- they never mailed me my acceptance mm-hmm. letter. I was like, who y'all think y'all is? I need exactly. my letter. But also financially, I was like, but what the hell? I'm not finna pay a million dollars a year. Even though I wish <laughs> hey, anybody who is deciding to go. Go. Um, but I was actually supposed to go to George Washington University in D.C. Ooh. I was supposed to get, like, a full ride. I ended up making it to, like, the final four. But then, well, and it was, like, the final six or seven. And I just remember just being, it was, like, two Chinese girls, like, a white boy. Oh. And it was, like, hella just smart-ass black girls. And everybody had, like, their own business or, like, created a, an event. And I was, like, I'm in I'm band. just Manny Supreme. <laughs> I'm Manny Supreme. I, I just started a <laughs> YouTube like channel. Over. Fought with me. So I remember, like, on the way home, I didn't get the call, but it was like, we still going to admit you. Mm-hmm. We'll still, like, give you some money. I'm like, Psh, fuck that. So now I was like, literally when I toured that school, that's when I toured Howard. I got into Howard, and I was like, eh. Not talking shit about nobody go to Howard because a lot of my sisters go there, but Howard was kind of dirty. I was like, Ooh. Oh, like and then I was going to go to University of Florida, got into there. Then I was going to go to UGA. I didn't get in the first time. I got in the second time. You know how you can apply twice. Yes. Like and then when I got in the second time, I was like, ah, let's go. Go dogs. But then I was like, ah. Athens? And then, I don't know. My mom went to Georgia State, and she was like, you're going to follow after me? I was like, no, no. But then it was just like, shit, fuck it. I thought she went to CAU. My mom went. So she went to Georgia. Well, she started at Atlanta Metro. Then she went to Georgia State. Then she went to CAU. Got it. Yeah, yeah. Okay. She got her master's at CAU. Okay. Um, well, she was pregnant with me, so I was like, that's why I technically went to CAU. You technically did. Technically. You, you was on the I was alive. Before I, had <laughs> I had a heartbeat. I had a heartbeat. You had a heartbeat. Um, but yeah, I, man, I'm best decision I ever made in my life, man, going to Georgia State. So Georgia State, you come on campus. Yeah. you like, okay, what I'm going to do? Like, how I'm going to make this motion? Nigga was how I'm going to connect? Actually, I wasn't lost. I was doing YouTube. 
Well, I'm still back doing YouTube. Go subscribe. This is not Manny Supreme. We're going crazy. I got some fire shit on the way. Not a fire drill. This the real thing. Yeah. But yeah. I started off doing YouTube for it. That's what kind of like. Skits, all that. Kind of. I was like, I used to watch DDG hella, right? Yeah. So I was like, when I go to school, I'm finna fog with the hoes. That's all what people want to see. So I just remember kind of doing like pranks and shit. Mm. And then I like found some. Well, I was like kind of cool with this girl who had a channel too. And then some other people. And then that's funny, bro. That's when I met Avery B. Like all these, all my niggas is going crazy. Now Elias, a whole nine, nine, Duda, Ken, Kenze, um, Slick. We was all meeting around the same time too. So I was doing YouTube. And then that's why I interned at Streets. Mm -hmm. my freshman year. So. You was doing the YouTube. Was you throwing parties to your first year? So you nah, ain't I, ain't, I didn't even get into the party scene till I linked up with Wadi Ah. But mm. it was kind of weird too because like my first college party was Pajama Jam, but that's when it was at Mansion Elon. That shit was crazy. Pajama Jam is definitely an ATO class, which was insane. And then it was like I don't know, like I was hosting shit in high school. Like I host the basketball games or the pet mm. rallies, even in middle school. Like I always like. Hosted stuff like that. But when it came to, like, clubs and stuff, my first time going out to the club was interning at Streets and just going out with some of the jocks for real. We went to Opium, the old Opium. Oh. When it was on Spring Street. And it was just lit. I was like, oh, yeah, I fuck with this. I remember, I remember vlogging that night, too. I think I still got that video. But then once I kind of got around that side, I was like, okay, I could do both. You mm -hmm. feel me? And then... Shit, with me just going crazy on YouTube, I was getting like 100,000 views, 40,000, 20,000. And like my boss at Streets was like, bro, can you do this for us? I'm like, Damn. Yeah. But they was trying to get me to do it for free. But that's why I tell people you got to do hella shit for free. So you, you make some money. But that's fair. That's when I was helping them. Like around that time, that's when my baby, my baby, little baby dropped my turn. I did that interview for them. It was like a YK Osiris one. That's when Worth It was going crazy. Uh, Nudie. Mm hmm. Else. It was a lot of shit I was doing for them to help get their YouTube. Like 2020 up. type. Yeah, like end of 2019. Okay. Because I, I ain't really getting no break. Like as soon as I like came into school, I ended up getting the internship. But I got the internship after I decided I wasn't going to play soccer. That was one of the, another reason why I was going to go to That's Georgia crazy. State. Because I was going to try to walk on. Because I went to this camp and I was going crazy. I was not expecting to do this good. Like I was going crazy. <laughs> and it's, the coach, one of the older coaches or whatever the fuck he was like hey we're gonna have this this down the third you still mm -hmm. come like did you get accepted i was like yeah i was like, i'm thinking about going there anyway he was like just come to tryouts so you and was like the black messy black renato basically it's black, black messy man black messy black messy but then i went to tryouts it was on some dick riding shit. i was like fuck that shit down my phone I was like, fuck that shit. I'm not going back. Literally, when I didn't go back, I was leaving ethics. That's the only class I ever got a C in in college, too. Mm. Fuck that professor. I don't mm. remember his name, but fuck, bro. Then I got a call from Streets 905. They, they like, like, pull up. They was like, we need you to start immediately. But mind you, I didn't answer the phone. They called me like seven times. You like, who is his number? I'm, like, I'm walking with my friend, Addie Lee. Shout out to Addie. And I was like, what the fuck? Should I just answer him, man? I'm like, Hello? <laughs> I'm, in, I'm agitated. What do you want? What do you I'm want? I'm walking to the dining hall. I'm hungry as fuck. And they're like, yeah, the streets, blah, blah, blah. Her name, the lady who called me, her name's Shantae. Shout out Shantae. She managed Cali. And she like, um, is this, what well, they was calling me, that was Emmanuel then. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, yes. And then, yeah, I worked that night. Literally. Well, that afternoon, holiday, DJ holiday. Mm. Shout out holiday. So talk about that, though. You said uh, doing stuff for free, like in this game and media, entertainment. It's a lot of stuff they just not about to give you the bag right off rip. It's a lot of shit, bro. Money can't help you with. You feel me? You get that $500 then with relationship. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's what I learned. And it's like, as soon as you stop trying to chase the money, the money's going to come. Mm. It's going to be right there in your face. You feel hey, that, was a, that was a little bar right there. You Damn. Feel me? That Damn. was. That hit home for some folks. You got to. You feel me? So now you, uh, you feel me? You said YDI came along. Yeah. They want to throw a little parties. And then that trend. Man, they was throwing, man. Shout out YDI, my family. They really, like, a lot of people helped me out. You know what I'm saying? Like, the radio and everything. But I get a lot of my, like, most of, like, what you see me doing, hosting, mm -hmm. all that shit, bro, is come from the twins. Like, they were on the that really like got behind me and that put the utmost confidence in myself because I'm like, 
they didn't have nobody back in them. Like, you know what I'm saying? When they graduated from high school, they had already just got off tour with Trippy Red and Lil' Key. You feel me? So it's mm. like, these niggas is throwing parties from the east side. They don't got none of the older heads that's been on campus supporting Thanks. them. So it's like, but we might as well start our own new wave. You know what I'm saying? So that's shout crazy. out the biggest. That's definitely when I moved to Atlanta in 2021. I was going to Clark, and yeah. I think it was like August when everybody come back to school, <laughs> and they like, you gotta go to the YDI yeah, party. Wait and waste it, man. You know how we start the year. <laughs> Feel me? I went to see. You said twenty twenty one. That was a good. That's not. That was around when I first was like really like going, starting to go stupid for it. But, but wait, the phone party. I did get overhyped, and I felt like no shade to you. No, no, no. I felt like I got scammed by YDI. For how so? Wait. How so? You this had to wait in line. line. I wasn't waiting in line. What happened? I had to cut. I was like, bro. I would be a fool. To How much just did you have to pay? Line. How much? No, did you no, have no, to no, pay? no, no, not, not, not even any of that. Just the promotion and marketing for it was like foam, girls half naked, Shit. water splash, and I'm coming down from. I was hooping at a a, a PWI in Michigan my yeah. freshman year. We was terrible. Came to Clark. Came to Clark. I'm like HBCU life. I'm here with my guys. We got an apartment on campus. YDI, wet and wasted. We got our hopes up, and then we went, and everybody was just in there like. Man, we can't be talking about the same party. It was, you said it was 2021? In 2021, that was summer. It, it, was, it, was it, was it was in that, that warehouse. It was in that warehouse. Off and the, uh, and from Northside. And they had that foam pit. Like, Nigga, in the I was overlap. moving the candy seat. What time was you there? I ain't going to lie. Like, I think it was just because it was so hot, and I ain't going to lie, I wasn't drunk. I was definitely nigga, in there. That's like, on you, cause I'm like, nigga, that was my favorite one. I remember I had to, man. It was so much foam and shit. The mic and shit fucked up, so I just get behind the phone cam. I'm like, bro, this, this bitch is taking. It was a lot of hoes. Shit, most shit. It was a lot of. It was a lot of hoes. So I'm I did, like, I, man, I don't know what though. party you was there, what time you was there, but I we was just talking about that. That was actually one of my favorite ones for real. I think it was cause we didn't, we wasn't hip to like. I feel like we wasn't hip to like how to have a real good time. Like we coming like. The parties we come from never was on that type of time. And, like, yeah. and we used to parties, like, nine times out of ten, bitches get shot up. Like, yeah, and it's nah. like, but that's when we be like, that party was a banger. Yeah, nah. It got shot up. That was, that's how we played it. But nah. That shit was cool, though. And you feel me? Why do y'all definitely, I think they got ATL on lock with yeah, those man, parties. I don't know where parties. you was at. It was hella hoes in there. I don't know how you and your partners was, boy. What y'all niggas was doing? Y'all wasn't we, drunk. We, we, we wasn't drunk, bro. We, we still hoes in there. Y'all tripping. No, it was hoes. We was on little hoes, okay, little twerts. But it was just like, I just, I don't know. I feel like I just wasn't Shit, party it. shit not for everybody, though, man. I think, I think I remember what it was. I think it was somebody had got scammed off the parking across the street. Like, some dude hit them with the, yeah, you got to pay 20 to park here. And then, like, 20, when you a college student, first off, if you're not getting no money, it's like, oh, that's 20. I really need this for the whole weekend. But, Sorry, shit. But, yeah, that doesn't matter anyway, because... It's two years ago, so don't matter. The biggest. Yeah. So now we're going to get into, you feel me, currently, man. You got the radio show. You going crazy there. You Shows. putting on a lot of um, artists. You know, I was there at the Wick the Don shoot. Mm-hmm. You feel me? Shout out my nigga Wick. Shout out AG. Shout out, Shout out District. Don. Shout out everybody, bro. Uh, Kylie Gabbana, she hit me like, yo, I need Wick to get on this. Shout I'm like, man. that's easy. I'm like, what is it for she like, yo, it's with Vanna Supreme. She just watching. And I was familiar, but not too familiar. Mm-hmm. So I'm like, okay, I'll pull up, and I'll bring him, make sure he there, everything's straight. And that was a good interview. Uh, yeah, yeah, I appreciate that, man. And I definitely was like, you know, I still was like kind of on the outside looking inside. Mm-hmm. Like, you feel me? Yeah, for sure. Seeing who you is. So how did Streets is watching come about? On ac- Well, it wasn't on accident. One day I was at Hot 107.9, and I think I had to work a Saturday shift, mm-hmm. and I heard um, Drama and Candy's show playing, but it sounded like hella outdated, so I hit Willie Joe. Shout out Willie Joe. And then now and then, shit, we put two and two together, and then DJ Iceberg, shout out Iceberg, you know, he worked for Hot 107.9 too. We just made two and two come together, and then at first, they told him to come to the studio at Main Street. We recorded some breaks. Shout out TC. My main partner, my main homie. Um, we recorded some breaks for it because uh, they knew I, I was already doing radio at Hot. Um, and I was like, bro, we can revamp it. We can make it mm-hmm. this. We can make it that. Um, and I was like, bet, let's run it. And then I didn't even know I was playing on Sirius XM for like another three weeks. And then somebody called me. Somebody's parents heard me. I'm like, 
what the fuck? So then I called TC and Iceberg. I'm like, I thought we was just doing test breaks to see how it sounded so we could send it to Drama and Cannon and Lake to be like, yo, do y'all fuck with this? No, Iceberg was sending the mixes to Sirius <laughs> itself, you feel me? So I'm like, man, I've been on the radio all this time. I didn't even know. So that's how I came about. Then we met with Drama and Lake and Cannon. Well, it was just Drama and Cannon. And they was like, well, Manny, what you like really want to do? I was just like, man, put on new artists and, you know, make Jen now the biggest and so shit. They was like, shit, we getting behind it. And then that's how I, you know, came about. So as far as the radio goes, like, when you uh have to get on the radio or whatever, mm-hmm. it's like no cussing, right? No. Well, it no. depends. Hot 107.9, it's FM radio, so you can't cuss on there. Okay. But Sirius XM, you, Shade can, 45, you can say yeah, anything. You can say, you can say anything, yeah. And how does... For people that don't know, like that may be trying to get into radio hosting, how does who pays you? Who how does that all work? Well, obviously it'll be the company, but it's like it 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 varies both ways. You know what I'm saying? I do all my shit legally. I don't do no type of you can't pay me to do no interviews. You can't like if I interview you, I generally fuck with you. Like I don't I don't do that because it's like that's my brand. You know what I'm saying? Like if I'm just taking money to interview artists that's like diluting what I think is good music so um shit that's really what I stand on when it comes to radio but yeah I mean I work for Radio 1 under Radio 1 it's like Ricky Smiley Steve Harvey Incognito you know what I'm saying um and that's Praise 1025 Magic 1075 Hot 1079 Classics um so that's here in Atlanta but um for Sirius XM that's on Shade 45 Shout out to Ron, our program director. Again, shout out to my whole Janelle family, TC, an amazing producer. Um, we're actually changing Streets is watching the Gangsta Grills radio now for 2024. So okay. be on the lookout for that. Um, also got a couple of day in life, real in-depth, like complex type interviews coming out. We're ready on one at Hot 107.9, so be on the lookout for that. So, hell yeah. All right, since we are on the topic of music, definitely mm-hmm. want to get your artists. Not, not... Who you think is the, you feel me, that's out right now? Who you think, like, had that year? Like, you feel me? And then I'm going to ask you the album of the year. Of course, shout out my family. Shout out Nene. Shout out Kara. Shout out Camo. Shout out Whole Concrete. Uh, They had an amazing year. Shout out my nigga Tony Snow. Amazing mm-hmm. fucking year. Great fucking tour, great album, great features on projects, great collab projects. I don't think nobody working harder than my nigga Tony. Shout out, um, one of my favorites out, one of my favorite albums this year. No bias shit. Uh, Ganger is a great album. Deluxe as well. I was definitely <coughs> looking for that answer. Great album, top ten, for sure, all time. To me, it's a great album. Um. I hate doing shit like this. So I feel like I'd be forgetting people. It's impossible to pick everybody. You're going to forget somebody. Uh, shout out my nigga Lil Skirt. Y'all probably not hit to him just yet, but I'm telling you. I'm telling you. It ain't too I'm confident in a lot of things. Mm. I have the utmost confidence. <laughs> getting, watch him next year, Lil Skirt. He dropped some fire shit this year. But um, me and him got some shit we working on. Uh, he from the A2? He actually from Syracuse. How'd you get connected with Homicide Gang? I actually hosted one of their first shows. It was at Center Stage, The Loft. <clears throat> shit lit, man. That's family. It was funny because it's like how that shit happened. Shout out Aaron and shout out Profit. Shout out Status Management. But uh, I don't even know. Actually, no. Shout out my nigga Soda Man. Soda, we wait for you to drop, nigga. Send me my unreleased shit, Soda, if you're watching this. Soda's, um, Soda brother Sid Sean. Sean, my nigga Sid Sean. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> and they under status, you know what I'm saying, mm-hmm. the whole shit. So they was looking for a host for the show. Mm-hmm. And Soda like, man, my nigga Manny Supreme, yeah. like, he be going crazy. So <laughs> they, like, looked me up and shit. And then Prophet and Aaron was just fucking with me. And then that's how I got connected. But what's funny is, but I ain't never even talked to Bino or Michi till, like, the last show I did for them because... As soon as I come in, like, they fan. That's why, man, I salute the whole opium, man. Shout out to my niggas, man. But Homicide in particular, like, that's family. Because, like, they fans, and I told being on this last time, like, they fans just be so, like, ready to see them. I be having to get directly on stage and just, like, go crazy. I you peak. know what I'm saying? And we got, this the show we the show we finna do Friday going to be the biggest one. Yeah. 
Because it's in the Big Boy Masquerade, you know what I'm saying? So, shout out my niggas, man. But yeah, that's how that whole shit linked up, for real. Cool, cool. I definitely saw the videos, you know, the mosh pits. Yeah, yeah. That's like, bro, that's so, like, that's literally, like, amazing to me. Like, seeing that, like, that energy, you can feel it, like, just getting on that stage and really rocking out the crowd. Like, I only really had that experience at the Rolling Loud. Like, I kind of got to... I didn't host it. I didn't host yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I got to, you feel me, have some crowd interaction. Yeah, that should be And just lit. getting the crowd to turn up. Like that that's, should be lit. That wasn't even my, nah. They last show was one of my little shows I did. But when I opened up for Lucky, mm. that was crazy. That was crazy. You like hosting shows more or club? <clears throat> Concerts for sure. Mm. Concerts for sure. Because uh, it's just, I listen to all types of music, bro. You'd be surprised. A lot of music that, we play in the club. I don't even listen to them. I just know just because, you know what I'm saying? Ski, but I don't even listen to that shit. I real feel that. Real. Yeah, listening to club music every single day and then going to the club on the weekend is kind of crazy. But one thing that I'm changing to is like, shit, we've been playing shit in the club that we listen to now. Mm. So it'd be different. You know what I'm saying? We're not yeah. playing all that mainstream hype shit. Okay. Talk about um some recent collabs. I know you're working with Tomorrow. Hell yeah. Shout out to my Tomorrow family. Um, I'm trying to figure out a good space for my show, man. I have a show that's coming, and it's groundbreaking. It's just really, my goal with it is to connect the dots between artists and music and sports and entrepreneurs and the city and be able to, like, really showcase and highlight talent in a very, like, in a very in a way that's like reminds you of something that's has a lot of satire to it, you know. That's just it catches your attention. Mm. So shout out to Tamar, shout out to Cannon, shout out to Kayla, shout out Jordan, shout out Diego, shout out Chase, shout out Portia, best team man. Anything I ever need, they always make sure it happens. And it's like you know, Tamar is really for creators. If you don't know about the Tamar app, make sure you sign up. I'm talking about getting you paid the next day. The whole thing's for you to get paid tomorrow. You know, so I got to sign so up to tomorrow. Photographers, videographers, producers, engineers, anything that you do that's in a creative space, I would recommend to, you know, download tomorrow. It really helps connect you, man. It's not a paid promo. <laughs> it's not like a paid what? promo. <laughs> that's get get right with tomorrow. Also, now, um, November 19th. Yeah. <laughs> Day. I almost forgot. I'm like, what the fuck is yeah. November 19th? Only yeah, thing, man. County, that's, bro. Do you hear like just say that? Out loud. I know. Say that out loud. Like that's that insane shit, to hear. You that feel shit's me? insane. Thank you to everyone for that. What's crazy is, bro, I wasn't even gonna get a chance to go to that. Like I had so much shit going on that day. But shout out to the Media Girls Network. Major shout out to Jalissa. Shout out to the other people I was honored with, like Sue Solo, Ja, you know, Ray Daniels. Mm. That felt good, man. Cause it's like. Man, I grew up in Fulton County. I still live in Fulton County, and like my mom tied in that county for so many years, and it's like, mm. I did a lot of shit as like growing up in that county. So to have my own day, that's so real, bro. It's dope. That's sure. dope. So talk. Be on the lookout next year. We got some big shit coming for it. Mm. Some fire shit coming for it. Annually, nah. You feel Facts. me? Facts. You feel me? Facts. So you know, like we said, hasn't always been this great Mm -hmm. it's definitely a process a journey it's time talk to the creatives and that person who's you know listening in on you and you know you're an inspiration to them and they want to know like how do you go that day to day like how do you go home after Mm -hmm. school or something do Mm -hmm. some homework then edit your content then Mm -hmm. go do go host at the same time like Mm -hmm. it's a lot going on how do you you know stay sane stay true to yourself Mm -hmm. you know stay focused disciplined and Stay hungry, like, stay, yeah. keep going. Like, what's some advice for it's that? It's your drive. It's all about your drive. It's all about how passionate you want to, or how passionate you are, how serious you are, and the people around you. It's as simple as that. And God, if you do not have God in your life, none of your dreams will work. 100,000% will tell you that. When I started getting further from God, I was not doing what I needed to do. You feel me? So, um, as long as you do those three things, have God in your life, write down, Write down what you want to do, too. A lot of people don't write down what they want to do. I found that to help me out a lot. Because if you write it down, you're always looking at it. You know, shout out Wadi, they tell me that. Where your whiteboard, did you write down something on your whiteboard today? You know? And then erase it. Because after you erase it, everything should be done. So you're yeah. always getting shit done. You feel me? That's so, interesting. 
Like, it's all about your drive, you know? For me, hell yeah, like, fresh me, I was trying to go out and party with the hoes, but I got to be up at 5 a.m. to do this morning show for Jock, so I can't go. So it's like, it's all about how bad you want it and when you want it. Because yeah. also it's like, you think shit going to come on time, then it don't come on time. And then when you expect for it to still come, it don't come. But when it do come, you just got to be ready for it. That's why I tell anybody, just stay ready. Stay ready, and that's definitely that's definitely some sauce, you know. If that opportunity come to you, be ready. You be have ready. it, but if you come and then you're not prepared, you might have just missed. And it. then it's like by the time you get done trying to rush it, you are gonna be where you need to be. You know what I'm saying? Because God gonna give it to you when you ready. Like that's fact. He's not gonna give it to you if you're not ready. That's factual, and just even like it's a smaller uh, example of that. Like I remember. You probably, well, I know, you probably don't remember this, but mm-hmm. uh, it was when Wick had to shoot with mm-hmm. Lil Darius 21 Hell Questions. Hell yeah, I remember I pulled and up, man. Yeah, I was, I was there, like, I pulled up. I was just doing, like, a little content with BTS. I knew yeah. pretty much everybody in there. Yeah. And I remember you was doing the B&B scene, and you had pulled in, but I didn't know who you were. Yeah, so yeah, like, yeah. You pulled up, and, like, dude said, like, oh, what's the <laughs> So then me and Smokey Phils, we yeah. like, <laughs> like, I don't know, hey, it's up, just like, yeah. Damn, who this? And yeah. then it was just like, I could tell, like, I'm like, damn, but once again, like. That was the first place we met. But we, whole time, like, I don't even think we met, I don't even know if I shook your hand. I don't know. I, I always dap everybody up, bro. Go, yeah, go. you probably, you probably did, but yeah. I was just like, dang, like, you feel me? And then, then it was the Wick interview, and then it was just little stuff, and it was just little signs until finally at the OTE game, Hell when yeah. Bees was there, I'm like, bruh. He chilling out. He not at the club. He ain't, <laughs> he ain't doing that. He really That's racks. I'll like, be wanting to talk. It just be like, yeah, I got a million things going on yeah. right now. Y'all see that Saturday. You feel yeah. me? Like, you feel me? It just be me. I do have a team, but when I'm in the field, it be Manny. Facts. Be Manny, you know what I'm saying? So. But I was saying that to tell y'all that, like, I could have been trying to, you know, finesse, finesse, and finesse, and trying to get him on an interview or whatever. But, like, like he said, it's God's time. And I think this was, like, a perfect time to yeah, yeah. end out the year, start the year off right for y'all to see. And it was just a lot for us to, you know, say. And we uh we are both very good creatives, you know. Yeah, for sure. So definitely, you feel me, think of that. Course, uh, Appreciate that. Timing. Appreciate but that. want to just get into a couple more things before we get off. Yeah. You said uh you got to get up at 5 a.m. for the radio. Yeah. But the hoes want to go out at night. <laughs> How was how how is Man, the, the, the girls bro. like how are the girls to Manny Supreme? <laughs> Straight up. <laughs> hey. You know it's crazy, bro. We be in traffic, right? Shout out to my social team. Shout out to my Forte Digital team. We killing the game right now in Atlanta, if you don't know. Everybody that's of our age or coming about, or if you just celebrating your twenty first or you just trying to Come kick it with some folks that's really genuinely wanting you to have a good time. Come party with us at social, man. Um, but I'll, they'll send the pictures in the group chat, right? Uh, like, mm. that night. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And everybody be like, oh, yeah, I seen Shorty. I see blah, blah, blah. I'm like, what the fuck? Was, you know what I'm saying? Not that I'm looking for that because it's like, when I host, I'm not even the type of nigga that's like hosting for the hoes. When yeah. I go in there. I'm like genuinely trying to make sure, okay, if you celebrating your graduation, you having a good time. If it's your birthday, you having a good time. If you ain't here from out of town and you visiting your cousin and you ain't here with your, you with your best friend time. who you ain't seen in five years, I want to make sure you have the best time as possible. So I don't know, bro. And I hate this beat or, or try to act like that nigga on camera, but you can ask my friends. I've never been that nigga to just like, yo, where we at with the bitches? Where we at with the bitches? Because it's like, I just feel like I have so much more to accomplish personally before I'm worried about some shit like that. You feel me? But, I mean, everybody love me. The hoes always going to be there, too. Everybody love me, man. I love everybody. You so, is it, is it any girls that can get you? Or is it like <laughs> you, stand, you stand out the way? You stand out the relationship? Or I'm just, focused right now, man. I ain't going to lie. I'm focused. I'm locked in right now. So, it's like. You don't got time for really, like, to really focus on that relationship. I wouldn't even say that. It's like, I hate to pull a Drake quote, but wow. it's like. For you to throw me off of my routine, you have to be somebody special, you know? So, I'm focused right now. Hey, Goliath. 
I'm focused. I hope nobody gets mad at that answer. You know, <laughs> hey, it's, it's up to interpretation. I, ain't, bro, I don't feel like I said shit. You know what I'm saying? Take yeah. it how you want to take it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And last, we're going to get into these fashion trends, you know. Hell yeah. A lot of denim tears out here or kenum tears, you know. You got on this bad land. Shout out to my homies, man, Chris and Vaughn. I'm about to remember you seeing this. It's about to, this is a crazy Easter egg, man. Remember y'all seeing this first. I done had this shit for like a couple years now. I actually wore this shit at the first concert I ever hosted mm. with Camo That's and crazy. Draft. Crazy. Shout out Draft Day, man. Yeah. Shout out to the gang. Yeah. So fashion, you like, when you dress and put it on fits, you like, through everything, you like getting pieces from uh, black-owned brands, pop-up shops, and mall. Mm. Like, where you go for, for the clothes? Everything now so the same. That's why I wear this today because I feel like it was on some other shit. I got my alien socks on. Shout out to my church. They gave me these. These shoes I got for free from somebody mm. at Georgia State Rec. I don't even remember this bro name, but I You're got like, them for free. Here you go, bro. Pants, North Face. I like just put together shit for like what I have to do that day or what I feel my vibe is. So, you know. And I have my own pieces coming some special collaborators i said collaborators i have some special collaborations coming with some people <clears throat> like a manny collection mm. so that's hard bro it's gonna be fine make sure i tap in yeah i gotta get you some interview merch too facts you know I mean? my facts. merch is more on the simple side just like oh i know what that is like you north Face, like apple man not too much you know i mean i'm just trying to be on the apple side i'm trying yeah, to be yeah. on that on that tip facts. Uh, i definitely you know commend you for getting on here Appreciate y'all for having me, man. Yeah. I always like to come through and spread some of the good news. Yeah. So what's next though? Twenty twenty four. How we coming? Like twenty twenty three was big. So how can we Hell get bigger? Yeah. Without saying too much. Man, twenty twenty three was great. I brought Bryson Tiller to GSU. Oh my we gosh. Did Clark bro. again with JD. It was a good year, man. I mean, every time I say the year just can't get any better. Like, I remember twenty twenty. I was on MTV. I was like, bro, this is the best year ever. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? This shit just keep going. So, I mean, next year, I'll tell anybody this. Tell you this, bro. Move intentionally. Mm. That's how I'm moving. And let's believe it's going to be that year. I said that about this year. This year was that year. But next year? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Kicking that, it into That's what I love to hear, man. I love to hear that. Thank you. And the Bryson Tiller thing, that was insane. Mobbing through Atlanta, like. Thanks. Shout out my brother Girls Bryson. was literally Shout losing their head over him, bro. Shout out um, RCA. Shout out Miss Sharita. Shout out uh, Neil. Shout out Rashad. Shout out Bryson. That's pretty cool. I talk about how to, you know, in those moments still, like, you enjoying it. You next to Bryson, you know. But still, just take it all in and just be grateful for that. Like, a lot of times, I don't be getting a chance to really Zoom enjoy out. the moment. Exactly. You know? I have sense. been more because I found myself. I went looking at my job like it's a job. So it's like, and that's nothing to answer to answer your other question for like people who trying to get started. Like, if you feel unmotivated find a new motivation or if you looking at your shit like oh shit well, i gotta go to school and then i gotta do this too but i'm still trying to be a crazy i'm still trying to go up on tiktok youtube how bad you want it you know what i'm saying it's like find that new motivation so to tie that back into the bryson tiller thing actually when we was on top of the truck um in the auc i kind of took a second to just be like Bro. what the fuck yeah you know but i don't know anybody who feel like nobody's like Paying your back, pat your own back, brother. That's real. And I always say, y'all know this is my quote, consistency, discipline, that always is going to beat out the lack of motivation. You know, everybody is not going to be motivated 24-7. It's Facts. impossible. It's a day you're going to get up and you're going to be like, bro, I don't feel like doing it. Or get around some people that will motivate you. You know what I'm saying? You I was me? talking to the twins about that. They been motivating me. You know what I'm saying? They was on tour with Lil' Key before they got a high school diploma. Like, what the fuck? Like, I can do it, too. You know what I'm saying? Major. Yeah, yeah. Get around some people that's going to motivate you to get to it. Definitely. That's my, that's my. Hey, that's some good advice, man. This is the interview podcast, man. This was a great episode. Once again, bro, 
Y'all got to tune in to all the latest episodes. Go watch all the new content online. Go tap in with Manny Supreme. He's doing a lot of big things in Atlanta. No cap. Around the world. We about yeah, to be out of there. It's getting out of it's, Atlanta that's getting too small for him. I don't think they can hold him. Like, it's like, ah. Yeah, we've been so. a franchise it, man. Go subscribe to This Is Not Manny Supreme, too, man. We're going absolutely crazy back on YouTube. We're bringing real niggas back to YouTube. No cap. We got to do a Rolling Loud in, uh, like, Portugal or something, too. Oh, facts. That's like coming. Some joint, some that's joint coming. turnt shit. That would be insane. Like, overseas Rolling Loud. That's coming. Yeah. So, I appreciate you again, my Of course, dog. game. Locked in. Yeah, for sure. <laughs>